Yeah, what's up everybody? Y'all know who it is. Found the CEO. I'm back at it with another reaction video. You heard me? You know. Y'all see what the title is saying. They see some photos from North Korea that says are from nuclear capable underwater drone tests. You heard me? So, you no, know, they trying to say that they got drones that go underwater and you know what I'm saying? Can shoot nukes and all type of shit. So we're gonna check that out and see exactly what's going on. You heard me? Anyway, if y'all new to the channel, y'all know what to do. Hit that subscribe. Don't forget to hit that like button. And everybody leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think about the whole thing. All this shit that's going on with the United States, Russia, China, Iran. You know what I'm saying? Shit. <laughs> hey, man. Sound like the United States about to get jumped out. Shit. But anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comments. And let's get to it. New information tonight on the North Korean strongman's brutality and his unrelenting ambition to threaten his enemies. With these photos showing tracks just under the surface, Kim Jong-un's regime claims to have tested an underwater drone capable of carrying a nuclear warhead. Kim himself was photographed beaming next to a drone. North Korean state media says the mission of this weapon is to, quote, make a super-scale radioactive tsunami to destroy enemy warships and ports. It claims this drone traveled underwater for nearly 60 hours, then detonated a warhead and blew up a mock enemy port. Some analysts are skeptical of the real capability of this weapon. There's a lot we don't understand about how they're controlling this weapon, whether it's pre-programmed or whether they're actively maneuvering this thing underwater. And, Ankit Panda says, this drone would likely be vulnerable to being destroyed by the U.S. and South Korean navies before it flushes out to sea. But he says it could still be a threat. There's nothing preventing North Korea from, in principle, putting a nuclear device on an underwater vehicle like this and detonating it. Uh, they could use it against massed formations of surface warships. In testing an underwater drone, Kim takes a page from Vladimir Putin's playbook. Russia claims to have developed a submarine-launched nuclear power underwater vehicle designed to strike enemy cities with nuclear weapons. But the Kremlin's offered no real proof of it. In recent days, Kim has apparently been successful in testing another menacing weapon. From mobile launchers, North Korea fired off long-range nuclear-capable cruise missiles. Eye-catching video shows the missiles hugging coastlines and mountains. These aircraft fly fairly low, and if they will be nuclear-armed, that's going to present, I think, a substantial challenge for missile defense in the morning in Northeast Asia. This comes as a new report from human rights watchdog group Korea Future details barbarous conditions inside Kim's network of prisons. What it says was a pattern of summary executions, torture, rape, and starvation. At least one prisoner, it said, was forced to eat cockroaches and rodents to survive. Damn. A woman jailed for crossing the border into China, the report says, was forced to have an abortion when she was seven or eight months pregnant. Any drop of foreign blood dropped into North Korea is an offense to the Kim regime, and thus these poor ladies had relationships with Chinese men and were forcibly returned, are subjected to this criminal treatment. North Korea's mission to the UN has not responded to CNN's request for comment on the new report, but Kim's regime often denies allegations of human rights abuses, claiming they're part of a smear campaign organized, of course, by the US. In America, the future... That's crazy, y'all. You know what I'm saying? What y'all think about this whole situation? You know what I'm saying? Y'all excuse a little bit. Push in my lungs. That little pressure on my chest. Excuse me. <coughs> yeah. That's crazy. You mean tell me these motherfuckers that made a mechanic Godzilla that can go underwater? God damn it. Stop it. Hey, man. I wouldn't be surprised, dog. I ain't gonna lie. You know... I don't know if y'all done seen this, but China, Japan, one of them, either way it's around that region, but the motherfuckers made a real fucking Autobot, a real fucking Transformer, turned a Mercedes, uh, BMW into a motherfucking uh, Optimus Prime robot, dog, like real shit, like the motherfuckers over there be on some other shit, dog, I wouldn't even be surprised, man, but what the United States gonna do about it, I'm like, it's my first time by him by the underwater drone. Now everybody just got drones on top. Shit, the motherfuckers got down, huh? They thinking outside the box, ain't it? Shit. Now. Nah. You mean tell me? Them motherfuckers trying to develop shit. You know that 
the shit ain't for nobody else but us, you know what I'm saying? Little small ass countries, other little countries, uh, South Korea, that ain't, they ain't, that ain't big enough. You hear me? But, my thing is, when that shit pop off, what's gonna happen? Like, where they gonna start at first? They going to Washington, D.C., or they going to New York? Like, they try to do, well, they do 9-11, you know what I'm saying? That's an inside job. But, uh, yeah, but, you know, y'all just let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section. Don't forget to hit subscribe on my new viewers. And, oh, yeah, hit that like button. Like I always say, I'm at this bitch.